Maybe you've asked this question, do I deserve to be loved? Or in other words, am I worthy of love? This is a very important question to ask, and even more important is that you know the answer. How you answer this question will reveal your beliefs about who you are and who God is. Let me explain. In Christianity, we use the word grace a lot. It refers to God's love that saves us and redeems us, and it's a wonderful truth. But unfortunately, there is this phrase that's often repeated, that grace is defined as getting what you don't deserve. I don't think this accurately reflects who you are and who God is. I believe that we do deserve God's grace. We don't earn it, but we do deserve it. Why? Well, think about a newborn baby. Do they deserve their parents' love? Of course, a baby hasn't done anything to deserve love except exist. Every child at every stage of life deserves a parent's love. The same is true of God. God loves his children at every stage of their life. He does not want to withhold his grace from any human being. It's part of our heritage as children and image bearers of God. And when I say we, I mean everyone, not just to those that receive his love, but to those who don't. Jesus said himself in John 10, 10, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. See, his basic message was that everyone deserves God's grace. We deserve life. He came to show us that grace is that grace in action. Grace is not something, a passive gift that God bestows upon us once we believe in him. Grace is an active power in our lives that inspires us and redeems and nourishes and heals us. I think this limited theological definition of grace as something undeserved is just the result of the human mind over the centuries trying to figure out how and why God could love us. As humans, we know we've messed up and we feel unworthy of being loved. So we view ourselves as undeserving. And God is some tyrant in the sky who treats his kids like they better get their act together or there's no grace for you. You know, this is not an accurate view of who you are and who God is. I believe in a God who is love itself, always abounding with justice, grace, mercy, kindness, forgiveness for his children. Do they earn it? No. Do they deserve his love, his grace? Yes, always. Why? Well, it's because it's who God is. It's who God made us in the first place. It's his job to love us. It's his duty to care for his children that he brings into the world, and he finds delight in doing so. You know, when my children were born, they caused me to love in a way I'd never known before. I couldn't help but love them. They didn't, give, they didn't have to do anything to get that love from me. It just flowed freely. And God's ability to love us so, is so much greater because it is who God is. God is love. So today, know that everyone deserves grace from God. It's part of their divine heritage as children of God. Even if someone is the worst sinner, they still deserve God's love and grace. It's true. They have to repent and receive that grace, but they always deserve it. And it's always available. Be assured that no matter what, you deserve God's love and grace. So take hold of it because that's courageous living.